All right, well, the organization Tall Girls United is on a mission to unite all women. I love this. And they are holding their 2024 Wellness, Wealth, and Winning Conference in Cleveland at the Women's Final Four. So today we have Sylvia Crawley, former player and coach. She played for North Carolina, uh, which I have a lot of family out there, plus the co-founder of Tall Girls United. Girl, I love this topic. Yeah, so Tall Girls United is an organization formed to unite all tall girl organizations, all yes. tall girl brands. There are tons of them. There's now a lot of tall girl clothing lines yes. where you can buy long pants. Thank you. Pajama pants. Uh -huh. Like, I've never owned a long pair of pajama Me pants. Me either. Now you can do They're that. They're always six inches off the yes, floor. Yes, yes, and I always have to have long, so I know where you're coming yes. from. But talk about this organization and kind of how it started for you guys and how it came about. Yeah, so our mission is to mentor young girls who are navigating through being sometimes the tallest in their class yep. or even, in my case, tallest in their whole school. So I was six feet in a sixth grade with a size 12 shoe. Oh, my goodness. And so I was taller than the girls and the boys and the teachers At even. At that time, were you playing ball, though? I wasn't playing basketball okay. yet. Okay. However, people thought I was a grown woman. Yeah. in the sixth grade. And so people would ask me like, how tall are you? Do you play basketball? And I said, no, I don't. I couldn't even play until the seventh grade. Wow. So I had to tell everybody that I didn't play. And some people would look at me and say, wow, what a shame. Like, what a waste, Use of, your height. What a waste of height, you know? <laughs> and so we formed this organization to mentor young girls so that mm -hmm. they don't have to navigate through being the tallest in their class. Like, we can whisper in their ear and say, hey, yeah. this is your secret sauce. Don't slouch down. That's don't right. doll yourself down. You know, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes, preach. And don't worry about if the boys ask you to the prom. They're going <laughs> to regret it 20 years exactly. later. Exactly. <laughs> they weren't good for you anyway. <laughs> but we're at that age. I mean, puberty is always a big thing that you're navigating anyway. And then to add those kind of things on top of it is difficult. Yeah. So through this organization, you're mentoring girls as well. Mm -hmm. So talk about that. And this is all over the country. This is all over the country. Yeah. And so we have um, a lot of our members are former WNBA players, yeah. but our organization is not just for basketball players. It's for anyone who struggles to go to the mall and not find pants and not find jackets that are long enough yeah. for them, right? And so, um, so yeah, I've played in 16 different countries. So this is not just nationally, this is globally. Mm -hmm. We want to unite tall girls. And talk about playing because you, you started playing and then she, she played for North Carolina, played in the WNBA. What were those years like for you? Very exciting. This is actually my 30th anniversary of being a national champion. Wow. So, Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So I always get really excited at the final fours yeah. because I know what it feels like to put in so much hard work and then come to this platform is such a huge platform yeah. where it's a sold out crowd, especially this year. Mm -hmm. And you have that confetti fall on your face <laughs> and you realize like, all we the did hard it. work is worth it, you the know? Blood, and it's, and it's a total out of, outer body experience. Yeah. Like your body's so fatigued that your mind actually has to will your body of what to do. Yeah. So mental toughness, some people say offense wins championships, mm -hmm. defense wins championships. I think it's, I think you need those things. Yes. But I think it's mental toughness because my mind had to tell my body, you will get one more rebound. Yeah. You will make one more basket. Uh -huh. You will cut down those nets, you know? <laughs> so I'm excited because we have such a good group of talent talent this year. And our, talk about the popularity. I mean, we're talking about it. It's in Cleveland. We're exciting. It's been around for a long time, but I mean, Caitlin Clark's not the only reason. She's a huge part of it, though. She is a huge part of it, but you know, I think I, we credit NILs for yeah. the movement that's happening right now because players are showing themselves to be more marketable. If you look on their social media pages, yeah. you hear all the human interest stories. Like, Flaget is a rapper. She has an, al you know, she has an album out, yep. you know? Yep. Some of them have their own brands. Some of them are doing endorsements and NILs for other companies, Very you know? Talented. So now they're more visible. Yep. Now you see them more, you know their names, you know? And yeah. so people are watching. My theme is everybody watches women's basketball. I want to normalize that. Uh -huh. But this is the day that we dreamed of. Pi yeah. You know, some of the pioneers and people who paved the way for women's basketball to be what it is today because these players stand on the shoulders of giants, mm -hmm. right? And so we're so proud of what's happening. This is the day we pray for to see 
Cleveland sold yes. out. Every yeah. hotel sold out, you know? Yes, and that's it's exactly what we're seeing. And there's a lot of events surrounding that yes. as well. But talk about yours specifically, who's going to be there. There's a fashion show. There's a worship service on Sunday. So there's a lot going on just for in your department. Yeah, so this is our wellness, wealth, and winning yes. conference, right? So we started with a meet and greet yesterday. That was amazing. We had Brittany Griner come through. And cool. We had Lachina Robinson, and a lot of tall girls, yep. you know? And then um, today we have our brunch. So if you're if you're out there, please attend our brunch today. It's at the Boys and Girls Club of Cleveland. We're super excited to be partnered with Boys and Girls Club. They do a great job. They do a lot of amazing things here in the city, and we wanted to get the city involved. We mm -hmm. didn't want to just have it fi people from the Final Four there. Right. So we have um, Mayor Brad Sellers that's going to come and do our official welcome. We have some um, first ladies from churches, work church, yeah. different churches yes. around here. So we wanted to get the public involved. We have some vendors who are part of the community. The Sellers Girls. Yes, are the Sellers Girls are going to be well. in the fashion show. So for our brunch, we have a panel discussion. We have breakout sessions with some and, and mentor things going on. And then on tomorrow, we have our fashion show, yeah. which is held at Lounge's Content Creation, yeah. our content studio on St. Clair Avenue. But we're going to have WNBA models. We'll also have a lot of other fabulous models who are six feet and up. Woo! We had 150 models apply. We can only choose 20. It oh broke, my gosh. Completely broke my heart. Of course. But um, so yeah, so we have the first metaverse model. She's the first signed metaverse model. Wow. She exists in the metaverse. She can only wear digital clothes. Okay. And I happen to have an NFT dress that she's going to wear. Oh my So God. she's going to work walk on a virtual runway. Wow, and she's a clone avatar of a lady named R.J. White. And R.J. White, she, she's amazing. She's the first um, African-American female to own a men's basketball franchise. Wow. So she's walking in the same dress, the physical dress, on a physical runway. So this that, is crazy. You have to attend yes. to see this. You it's have to be attend. Oh, we'll put all the information on fox8.com. We'll link the website as well. Uh, there's so much to Sylvia. We always don't have enough time, but <laughs> I have paid her to be on my podcast. So we'll see how that works out <laughs> later. <laughs> Thank you for coming to our show, for coming in town to Cleveland as well and doing all this. It's so, so important to get in these girls' lives Thank at you. a young age. So mm -hmm. congratulations. Thank you.